Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing MathAb3. Make a fun, awesome level. Boss con. There's no level in there. Sorry, past things might have confused me. Okay, so last time I tried a little boss called Lend a Hand that went very well. And um, according to the author, who is also the author of uh, Squarsh, if you remember that, said that my feeling of despair were basically exactly as intended. Just give me a moment here. There you go. I just typed, don't hurt me, on the keyboard, and that means I cannot be hurt because I've asked politely. Now you might be wondering, huh, seems like kind of a rude thing to do right at the start. Well, watch this. Okay, first of all, watch the last video if you haven't. It's kind of important. This episode is a direct sequel to that. So, uh, what's going on here is that, okay. This is distracting me, so we're just gonna go through this real quick again. I just still love- like, so, before I say anything, this does a ton of things very well. I think it's super well crafted, super well done. The ring effect of the arena is amazing, the boss is genuinely pretty clever, the cutscene is genuinely pretty funny, like, everything is very, very good. With one big caveat, one big asterisk. Um, it's very hard. <laughs> Sturg, like I was saying, is one of the... That's right, I hit that hand. I, so I'm still gonna mime as if I'm trying for real. Oh, here you go. I forgot that laser. Grid indication. So, yeah, so Sturg, one of the best just... What, like, video game player I've known? Like, I've known a lot of... This sort of stuff is so sad. So that's the hint, say, that... The, um, the obelisk give me a nice little, like, poison tick, see? So even though I'm not gonna get hurt by spells and whatnot, it looks like the obelisk poison is still gonna hurt me. That's funny. The stupid attack. Okay, I'm not miming the stupid attack. <laughs> Anyways, so... It took Sturg... As long as- as far as I'm aware, he's still, like, the world record holder of 1-1 one -one of Pisa Tower. Like, he, like, participates in, like, Smebex Kaizo contest and wins and whatnot. This is a nice little combo-ny of a little effect, a little pasta dish combo. Yeah, so it took him multiple days to beat this level. Like, multiple, like, couple hour long sessions where he would sit down and grind and grind and eventually beat the game. And at the end of the day, once he beat it, you know, it felt really good, as I bet it would. Uh, but I feel like that's something that's important to keep in mind. Is that, yeah, it, well, well, I did that just functionally perfectly. So, and you know what? I bet that if I took the time to sit down and grind this up. Like, this has happened before, right? Where, like, I would play a game that is very hard. Like, there's, like, the the, the game at the end. Like, there's, like, a super hard, like, bonus boss or whatever. And, you know, like, it takes me a little bit. And I reached the halfway point. And, uh, you know, like, it, it takes me a few days to beat it. Like, like, like I just kind of sit down. Like, Furry is a very good example of that happening. Uh, when I was doing Furry- Oh, Phase 2 means he has Shadow Hands. Uh, you know, where I would, like, basically square off one week- uh, one week, what am I talking about? Like, every day. Oh, now you got Double Blast. Oh, that seems easier to dodge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, for an hour, an hour and a half, every day, I'm just gonna grind it, grind it, grind it, play better, try and play better, try and get better, and uh, eventually, I would beat it, and it would feel great, it would be like, a really nice moment, a piece of achievement on my end, and I would have, like, like, basically, the end would justify the struggle. Um... And this is what I feel the author, like, this is the feeling the author is achieving to achieve, which is commendable, which I understand. Uh, it is a powerful feeling, and it feels fantastic when, when, when you nail it. 
And so this is what I would be doing if I was playing the Dear Hell Zone Welcome to Hell Country Super Death Squad video game. And this was like boss number three or something. That's what would be happening. And uh, it would be a good time. The issue, however, with this... Oh, wow, you do that more often in, in Phase 2. It's pretty good. I love phantom juggling without any bowling pins. The issue is that this is not, in fact, that theoretical game that should not exist. And uh, rather, this is a contest compilation where 19 people have made wonderful little contest entries where they try to design a boss at their best of abilities given time and resources and um i think that it is not right to monopolize the whole series for i don't know like a duration of an entire week when everyone is yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a diamond! Ugh, oh, Demo's gonna love this diamond for muffins or whatever. But that's the thing. This is a contest. There are people waiting for their, um... Don't hurt me. I'm back to normal. Yes! Reddish it is cool. I can save again. Yeah, like... Second most awesome. That is... Wow, that is rude. That's the thing, you know, like I said, because you have a lot of people waiting for a chance for their boss to be played, I think it is the correct decision to cheat, move past through this fight. Like, I gave it a day. I gave it a video, which a lot of bosses will have, and that is a correct amount, and that's okay. Despite a poorly conveyed attack system, the awful spike ceiling tag on the unlikelihood to sight read anything. <laughs> My fun ended with basic in that. This is true! Like, the more complicated spells feel like they're easier to understand and learn than the, the normal attack or basic attacks, like he calls here. Where he's just like this little punch or little swipe. Uh, Ugh. Attacks were all really tough, quite difficult to distinguish from the telegraphing. There's, yeah, there's a lot going on. Look at that, 1.5 fun, but 10 awesome. I feel like that's what a lot of people will find. I feel like this here, this spot, boss seven, I'm not sure I understand, well, okay. I don't know, one of the attacks called final, there is a flail, there is burning. It's, I feel like this is a point of distribution that will match a lot of people's experience. Splendid, sparkle, and joyous play, a narrative and thrill, and a visual craft. Truly breathtaking, parts of the rhythm, the West capacity, however, it's required a fraction of its beside vitality. Yeah, so, yeah. It's good, I just think it's not its base. But like I said, if I was playing the Dirge game, and I got this as a boss, I would gladly um, grind this out over like a week. But other people are waiting their turn on the spotlight, and that's why I think it is best to move on. People like, uh, Blue and a Rainbow Shy Guy, that's not recognized. You're waiting your turn, now you go, oh, you just kind of missed the techno, you missed the dragon zone, you missed the dragon clump, except you did better than the Dragon Clump. Dragon Energy is right there in Steam Engine 2. Alright, let's see what happens. By the way, although there are other birds, Angel has went out of his way to tell me that no other birds is as bird as this bird that, the, that we just clipped. <laughs> what am I saying? Double jump, spin jump. Yeah, this is what happens, press spin jump. Well, at least you give a jump when you press spin jump button. And you don't just do nothing. Oh, and are affected by gravity. All right, so I always have fire. Got it. Oh man, the tutorial level. <laughs> more and more. Okay. Interesting. Here's Mr. Pirate Sam. Okay. All right. Ahoy! Signs of it contains hints about some special mechanic of the boss. So you can attempt against the boss before you can read them. That's fair. 
Okay, I mean, honestly, I'm probably gonna give it a few tries before I... Well, it leads to difficulty settings. Uh... Oh, absolutely. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want to get the most brand muffin version of the boss possible before we start playing around with things. Their checkpoints fragment? Oh. That is wild. Boss health bars divide several segments. Each time you clear one segment, you'll earn one checkpoint fragment. Once you have the maximum amount of checkpoint fragments, you can spend them to create a checkpoint. <laughs> what? <laughs> this seems hilariously complicated. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, looking good. Alright. So I just throw heat gauge. Alright, I'm overheating you. And your little abstract. Oh, this is the. It's. Oh, yeah, these are Gates projectile. Can I cannot hit. Oh, you create a mess. And you get on fire. Alright, don't be there. Yeah, now you're a uh, Phoenix, I think, that had this move. And one of the latter X's. One of the bad X's. Heat gauge. This is a lot of stuff going on on screen, though. But we got this ins- okay, and if I gain enough checkpoint fragment, I can save one fragment of valve being removed. I have one out of ten, so I can spend it now. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. Ugh. So stay on top as best as you can, keep firing. And yeah, like there's like a zillion projectiles going on. You cannot fire while you're okay. No, that's not. He doesn't do that when his heat gauge is filled. Even though like he's like full of fire. So now his heat gauge is full. Does that mean anything? I'm not seeing any differences if it's supposed to mean. It. Jesus hell! Uh, this is. <laughs> there is a lot of projectiles. <laughs> it's. Just, and they're all like huge. Uh, like, how do you do with all this? Like, this is hilariously overwhelming. Like, it just does not stop. <laughs> now, I am kind of curious to know, like, what... What are you saying? What what are the gameplay things that I might be missing? Heat gauge, huh? Will fill up the boss's attack rate, will increase as the heat gauge refills, uh... So you need to not fill it. See, I was trying to fill it, because I was like, oh, well, I'm going to overheat him. That's going to, like, dizzy him or stop him or something. But, um, I guess it's the opposite. Oh. Burpees appear, get them all to become invincible. Okay, I didn't see that yet. So, okay, so, I interpreted the heat mechanic in the exact opposite of what it actually does. Got it! <laughs> like, but like, how, what, how does, like... Okay, yeah, you don't hit him, and then it just kind of mellows out a lot. And yeah, the rate of attack there was a lot more, less ridiculous. Okay. I don't know, man. Like, is it just me? I'm like, oh, the enemy has a heat gauge. I mean, I want to make him overheat, right? <laughs> like, he's my enemy. I want him to live in discomfort. But no, it turns out overheat him confers him a, an advantage. That seems weird to me, but I guess I get it. It's to stop from just trying to, like, super mash your way through. Like, I kind of see it. And yeah, now that he's not in overheat mode, like, yeah, like, this is a lot more manageable. Like, I guess I kind of have an overheat bar, too. Like, I guess that's what my yellow health thing means. Although, when does it stop being yellow? And when does it turn blue again? Well, now it's in red. And now I'm dead. Five checkpoints, though. So, there is a mechanic in place where if you just do one little bar of progress, 
every time, you can eventually win. See, well, this, this is, is it, like there's nothing for me to say. This is just a lot. It's just here's here's a notion of projectiles. I don't know. Deal with it. I mean, I am getting better. I'm seeing it. Alright, I got two checkpoint zones now. But, like... Just look at- look, look at this! Like, it's just... It's- yeah, no, the screen is full. Have fun, I guess. So now I can do that. Yeah, and I do want that. Cool. Alright. That simple. Oh, because, yeah, I got him at having two pips of health. And it's just a full restart. <laughs> I don't think I didn't notice here. Like, yeah, like, it doesn't seem to have, like, any new moves. or It's the same moves. God damn it. Oh, oh, these are the barrier things. And if I get all of them... Now, I'm invincible. You're invincible. Okay, then an explosion happens. Then a heart happens. Okay, so it makes me invincible, but I cannot use that time to do damage. It is strictly to survive whatever's out there. Okay, now there's one more purple on screen. That matters. Like, these things add up. I keep getting mixed up. Which are X and which are pluses? I don't know how you expect me to touch this like this. It's fine, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, your, your gauge is high. Like, I, I want to do damage, but if I do so, I'll be punished. And you can see that by the fact that this, this is getting very crowded. Yeah, but yeah, there is definitely an attempt at forcing the player to be more methodo methodical. I don't know if it's work. I think it is working. But also, the boss is kind of explicitly kind of a grind if you struggle. See, having to just wait passively feels not good, is my main issue. Like, when you're waiting for a, a chance to, you know, to cool off a little bit, and you're just kind of sitting there, like... I guess, you know, you're supposed to concentrate on dodging or whatever, but it still just feels weird. Like, when when do I know when he's not over... Like, does the bar... Does the heat gauge has to be completely back down? For him to not be in overheat? Or can I attack him, like, before it's completely empty? I feel like there's a detail I'm missing there. was a little bit full. Alright, but I can checkpoint. Now he's gonna be at half health. Uh, the grind resumes. Well, I went from 80 to 50. I mean, that's pretty good. 
I, I wonder if he's close to the next uh, Everyone's All the Shields segment. Yes! So, I can just do that, get all the things, and I can just sit down. He'll, he cools off. I get, hopefully, a heart. This time again. Yeah. Putting me... Okay, not quite as full. So I took a bit more damage than I needed. But okay, good to know. And yeah, now he's at the five orb phase. So I keep checkpointing like just before a new, a new, a new, a new one every time. But honestly, I'm not complaining about that. I feel like I like having this, like starting each attempt with a bit of a more like freer segment where I can just pelt, 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 wait for the shield, like nothing matters kind of thing. Yeah, so, in spite of my initial fear, I think this boss works. It is, it's a, it's a boss that gives you a spammable way of attack, and is trying to make a more considerate system. And it works, I think, because, like, I can, I can recognize the way that I'm playing is different than I typically would for a boss like this. They, their system actually works. I still think my my main biggest bugbear is the heat gauge. Boy, does that thing is unclear. Like, yeah, like I made it pop. When is it gonna? Like, do I need to make it? Do I need to empty it and like entirely? That that I do not understand. And it's sort of like the one thing I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, making mouth sounds, but that happens. It's on the overwhelming side because I let them overheat. It's important that I get my damage in here because I want to check. Like, even if it makes it, puts them in overheat, you know what? Maximizing my checkpoint points. Okay. Maybe not. I mean, I almost guarantee to get a checkpoint uh, next time. Yeah. What? The purple touch? Oh no. See here, I think I'm going to not use it. I'm not using it. I want to get down to 20% before I use it. Okay, I'm kind of guaranteed my 20, you know? my 20%. Yeah, like even if his heat gauge is there, it's more valuable to die now, but get past, get him at 20%. So that's where the checkpoint that I have stored. If I could get him to 10%, it'd be even better, but no, I got, there I got too aggressive. But yeah, 20%, I can totally do that. I can totally do that. Okay. So, I don't know how I feel about this guy as a boss. He's, he puts a lot of projectile on screen and sometimes he moves around a bit. Like, okay. He's got a lot of variety of projectile. Once again, just before the glass part. That's funny. How consistent I am at this. But the mechanics in play are fascinating. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi. Fire flowers are strictly prohibited behind this point. Just have to take- oh, uh, alright. Fair enough! We lost a dragon, but we got a gun. <laughs> the gun that I'm gonna be using! Okay, this is funny. Alright, so, okay, yeah. Orbs still have the same rules as ever. You still have a double jout in spite of holding this giant thing. So yeah, clearly we're buying time until the thing is charged. Makes sense. I can deal with that. Whoop. 
Lots of purple things. I will say, gun kind of takes a lot of screens, real estate. Kind of makes it a bit harder than necessary to see things a little bit. But honestly, like, yeah, like, my biggest thing, I feel like, is that the projectiles... I get what you're doing with them. I feel they're a big, big. Is it just me? Alright, so here we go. This is the winning run! Charge complete! Yeah! Here we go! Oh, it's the explosion from the glass jar move! But you didn't have a glass jar! You fool! That was neat. That was neat. That was a nice little conclusion. A little, like, survival test makes a lot of sense. I like that. Very, very mechan- I hope I remember to save. Can't believe it's not Heavy Lobster! Oh yeah, then there's all the accessibility things options. I should take a look real quick after I'm done reading. Yeah, so this one said the heat mechanic is smart, but it would require some fine-tuning. I don't know if <laughs> the checkpoint system is optional. If I had to do the whole thing, uh, my experience would be extremely different. Would be extremely worse. It would be a very different, very different thing. And this is kind of speaks with what I'm saying, like, the mechanics are fantastic. Like, they're worth exploring. But the boss is, uh, it's a hitbox that creates orbs, you know? But yeah, let's check out real quick, um, the accessibility options. I'm genuinely curious to see what you've done. Oh, this is a lot of doors wet. Okay, so... Uh-huh. Heat gauge settings. Oh, this is absolutely wild. Okay, I see. Easy will have more health, the boss will have slightly less health, the boss will have a slightly reduced attack rate. Slightly more health and its attack rate will be increased so the heat gauge will feel faster the longer you start lowering and its available slightly. I just wish I knew when was when when the heat was dispelled. That was my biggest bugbear. I say that I feel like I said that a lot. Frames, okay. Player health. So you start with the most amount of health. Except unless you go on eat no default hundred. That is wild! Whoa, I didn't think it'd be this level of control. And there I press at zero and it sets it back to one. Boss health per segment. That is nuts! Get hit, we're getting hit again. Yeah, when you lose your armor. This is wild. Heat gauge. So that must be the heat gauge door, right? I didn't read. Yeah, okay, so that's what that means. Got it. So it's only when it's completely filled. So you just need to keep it not filled. Okay. Okay, got it. This is just absolutely wild, though. That is so cool. Like, that is so cool, this whole menu system. And the fact that it's so easy to use, and you really go into the nitty-gritty to explain what each number means, like, that's impressive. 
that that's just impressive man